Hello everybody and congratulations on getting started with Crossbell. This is going to be one of the best decisions you've ever made in order to get control of your health and get fit. The Crossbell is going to allow you to do so many different things. We're going to start today with doing the warm up for the Crossbell Body Blast Level 1. This is the first of the series of Crossbell Body Blasts designed to shred fat, get you sweating and really challenge your body in a whole new way. We make the exercises safe and fun, and in doing so, we make sure that we warm you up appropriately to get those muscles ready to work. So let's get started. We're gonna start with what's called a knee up, and we're just gonna march on the spot, just gently bringing the knee up, marching on the spot. Really try to get the knees up to about belt height. Nice, smooth transition. Really keep that chest nice and tall. We wanna focus on really good posture, Posture is going to be your ally throughout the entire crossbell series. So really get those knees active, starting to work the hip flexors, get the postural muscles up nice and tall, keep going, we're going to do a few more of those, nice and tall. Don't let yourself round forward, really lift that chest up. Okay, now what we're going to be doing is raising the knees up into the air, and then we're going to be kicking the legs out. So we're going to raise the knee up, kick the leg out, raise the knee up, kick the leg out raise the knee up, kick the leg out. Really starting to work the hamstring muscles. As you can see, Jason, one of the founders of Crossbell here and fitness maniac, he's got his hands in through his back, stabilizing his spine, making sure that he doesn't over arch. Getting those legs up, kicking them out. Really starting to work those hamstrings up and out, up and out, up and out. Also really challenges your balance, which you're gonna need for these Crossbell body blasts. Keep going. Great. Okay, now we're gonna move into the alternating lunge with reach up and over. So we're gonna lunge back, we're gonna reach up into the air and over a little bit to the side. We're gonna step back to the starting position, step back into a lunge, reach up and over. Great. Keep going, alternating those legs up and over. Just get that nice big stretch right in through the hip flexors of the leg that's reaching back. And as you reach that arm up into the air, you're really able to stretch out in through the abdomen. Gets those muscles really loose and pliable, ready to work out. And that's exactly what they're gonna do in these crossbell blasts. Reach the leg back and up. Then reach the leg back and up. Try not to put too much weight on the lead leg, put a little bit of weight on the back leg, and then really focusing on opening up that rib cage. Take a nice deep breath in while you're going through this motion and it will get even more of those muscles. Keep going. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna get ready now for running on the spot, but let's get going. Run on the spot. Jason will show a variation. You can get the knees up nice and high. This is really to start getting the blood flow going through the entire body. We wanna make sure all of the muscles get active we get the cardiovascular system working. That's one of the best things about the Crossbell Body Blast is it doesn't only get those muscles pumping and working hard, it makes your cardiovascular system get worked harder than it ever has. Keep going, great. Now we're gonna go back into a lunging pattern again, except this time we're gonna lunge back, we're gonna place a hand down on the ground, and we're gonna reach up and point towards the ceiling. We're gonna step forward again to the start position, take a step back, the hand comes down on the floor, rotate up and reach towards the ceiling. Step forward and continue. Rotating up towards the ceiling, really point those fingers up nice and tall and follow those fingers with your eyes and your head. Reach, really open up that upper shoulder girdle while the legs are continuing to be active to maintain your stability. Excellent. Take a step back, foot down, hand down, rotate and reach. Then forward, up nice and tall, back down, hand comes down, rotate up towards the ceiling. Keep going. This one we're doing for an entire minute, so we got around 10 seconds left. Reach, excellent. You don't want to over rotate, you want to make sure you're controlling the motion. Fantastic. 
Great. Now we're going to be moving on to a squat where we reach down and touch the inside of the ankles and then we reach up towards the ceiling. This is one of my favorite activities. Stand the feet shoulder width apart, squat down and touch the back part of the feet and then up and reach towards the ceiling. Back down, touch, reach the arms in and try to touch the feet and up and reach. Then back down, really keep that head and chest nice and tall. This is your breastbone, this hard plate on your chest. Really keep it up and nice and erect. If you want further challenge, as you stand up, come up onto the toes. This really works to ex extend in through the mid back. Really getting those posterior muscles working hard and getting better posture. Keep going. Excellent. Now we're gonna move on to an inchworm. We're gonna bend forward, bring the arms down along the ground, come into a plank position, push into the ground with the arms, squeeze the front of the thighs, and then walk ourselves back and raise our bodies back up nice and tall. Back down, we're only doing a couple of these ones just to get the upper body ready to be loaded. And then back down, good, and up. Let's do one more, back down. Don't let the back sag, go into the plank, squeeze the front of the thighs, then walk yourself back, and up. Now we're gonna do the forearm roll. We're gonna bring the pinkies together, roll the forearms together, and then when the forearms are completely together and the elbows are touching, spread the pinkies apart. And we're gonna complete that motion just rhythmically. Pinkies together, forearms, and then separate. Really works that external rotator muscles, part of the rotator cuff. You see Jay here, he's got some great range of motion. And Andrea, she's had some shoulder surgery here. This is a great exercise for her to get those muscles back in activation. Excellent, we're gonna go on to the field goal. Nice and tall in the posture, hands on the front of the thighs, thumbs at about the level of the belt height, raise the arms up and back. Down again, up and back. Down again, up and back. I like it, we're getting a little bit more challenge over here, standing on one leg. This is gonna make you, once again, have to work some of those deeper muscles that are gonna become crucial to maintain good stability in your spine. Excellent. We got some good athletes here. Fantastic. And then we're gonna finish off with the jumping jacks. Once again, arms up, legs open. Arms up, legs open. Good. Really try to go through a nice rhythm with this. You gotta stand out of the way with Jason. This guy's got a wingspan like crazy. Awesome, fantastic way to start loading the hips. Make those muscles have to work really hard and you're not getting a lot of force, a lot of impact. Some warm-ups are too aggressive. This one is just right. Great job, guys. I think we're warmed up. We're ready to go. We're gonna do the cross belt body blast level one. Let's get started. Let's go, man. All right. All right, let's get started. First exercise we're gonna do is squat to press out. I will hold mine bottom side up, and we'll hold hers bottom side down. We're gonna go down to our squat position, and we're gonna press the crossbow out. Down, press, and out. What's great about this exercise is it is a full body kinetic chain exercise, and at the top portion, when you press the crossbow out, you are in a standing plank position. So if you thought that horizontal plank was hard, try using a crossbow, a weighted implement, and hit that standing plank. Good job, we're halfway through the first exercise. I can already feel it. It's gonna be a good workout. Oh, you're doing a great job. Andy. Yeah. All right, so we have 10 seconds. So that last 10 seconds, if you feel you can pick up the pace, go right for it. Leave it all out on the field. On your instance, maybe at home. Three, two, one. Whew, one down. All right, we're gonna move on to our other X exercise, which is a plank to shoulder tap. We're gonna go down. We don't need our cross bell for this one. We're gonna get down in our plank position, driving our shoulders into the ground, squeezing our bum, squeezing our knee. And we're just going to take, remove the right hand. Good. And touch that shoulder. We wanna avoid any unnecessary rotation 
of the trunk or the hip. I don't want to see this. All right, you're just cheating yourself. So let's keep it going. Tap, tap. We're halfway through this interval. Again, if you feel you have to stop, go right ahead. There's nothing wrong with that. And this next time you do it, let's try to get a little bit further and a little bit further until you're able to do this one full complete minute. And again, like I said before, you have to pick up the pace. Ooh, that last 10 seconds, you go, go for it, go for it. Leave it on the field. If you can keep up, try to keep up with me. But I'll tell you, there's probably a point here where I'm gonna have to stop. Two, one, woo! Two down. Now we're gonna go to a third exercise. Double swings. So we're gonna need our crossbell for this one. We're gonna have two hands on the crossbell. We're gonna really focus on our hinge pattern through the legs and explode at the top. We're just gonna bring the crossbell to approximately chest height. This is an amazing full body exercise. Really using those bum muscles, those hips, to squeeze and propel this crossbell through the television screen. But don't do that. The arms are actually just like a rope. Don't try to muscle it up and try to lift the crossbow with those shoulders. Just guide it. Guide it towards the wall or the television screen on a horizontal, not vertical, not straight up. Oh, you're doing a wonderful job. You're keeping up to me today. Last 10 seconds, all right? And again, if you think you can pick up the pace a little bit, or explode a little bit through the hips or you're almost leaving the ground, go for it. Two, one, whoo. Three down. All right, let's move on to our next exercise. It's called the upside. So we're gonna have to pick up our crossbell again. You can keep yours bottom side down. I'm gonna move mine to bottom side up, okay? So where you follow me is we're gonna go up, we're gonna go to the right, side, to the left, and side. Good. And up, side, side, up. And again, you're gonna, every time you push this crossbell either vertical or to the side, again, you're gonna have tremendous core activation. Another little key point to think about is that when you go to the side, Make sure that opposite bum cheek is rock hard because we all want rock hard glutes. Side, side. Okay, we're up to our last 10 seconds. So again, let's pick up the pace a bit. Three, two, let's finish this up. One, awesome job. All right, we're gonna put down our crossbell. We're gonna move on again. We only have 10 seconds. All right, so we're gonna get down to the ground here. We're gonna start with our left arm down on the ground, our left leg out fully stretched. We're gonna drive the right leg and the arm into the ground. Boom, elevating, pulling it through, get into that bear crawl. We're gonna go to the same side again and go back out. Good. And as you get better with this, you can pick up the pace or you can do what I'm gonna do right here is I'm just gonna tap my bum down and leave my foot still elevated. Whew. This is not acting, people. I'm really getting a good workout here. And this is only level one. I've been at this for a long time. This has been developed by the leading people in the industry. I'm not talking trainers here. I'm talking healthcare practitioners, clinicians, strength coaches, people who have decades and decades of experience. Okay, 10 seconds. Now you should be getting the proper form now you can try and speed up as you've got that proper form going. Two, one, whoo! All right, let's stand up again. We only have 10 seconds. If you need to get a drink, go get a drink. If not, towel off, but you only have 10 seconds. All right, let's go into our semi-squat. We're gonna put the crossbell on the left side, I'm sorry. Nice, comfortable space, and we're gonna row, row, row. If you have to, you know, being a beginner or starting out, you have to press that right arm against that right leg to create a little bit of stability, that's okay. But what we want you to do is work up towards taking that hand off, 
now your body is not only fighting gravitational force, but also rotational force. Not rotational force. I just think it's gonna get there. All right, so we're around 20 seconds left. Okay? Nice little thing to worry about is when you pull this up, if you're not pulling it up with your bicep, doing a bicep curl, you wanna pull and put this arm in your back pocket. Okay, put that crossbow in your back pocket. Doing a great job. You wanna avoid any bouncing. You wanna keep that stable half squat or quarter squat position. But you'll notice as you start getting a little tired, you start coming up a little higher. All right, keep, keep down as best you can. Whew! Okay, 10 seconds. I wish I had a towel right here, but I don't. But So let's go. We're gonna go into our reverse lunge. We're gonna grab our crossbell again. All right, we're gonna put it in our left arm. What we're gonna do is we are going to remove the left leg. We're gonna go into a small lunge and then back up. Lower herself with that right leg. And pull herself right back up. Some of you might have to put that foot back down as a kickstand and then go into that reverse squat again. For those of you who can actually keep that foot elevated by driving that right leg into the ground, what you'll notice is your foot is actually slightly elevated. Another key point is this rack position. We want to keep this rack, this crossbow, as close to the midline as possible. We don't want to have our wrist out to the side here. Right? We want to keep it nice and neutral. For the women out there, we don't want to keep it pressed against our chest though. That can be a little dangerous, so let's keep it just slightly off to the side, not touching our breast. You keep it up to me today. Whew. All right. Getting ready. Two, one, for our 10 second break. Whew. So now we're gonna move on to the same side sit out. We're going back to that exercise we did about four times ago just on the other side, okay? So we're gonna put that right hand down. We're gonna extend that right leg. We're gonna keep that left leg bent. We're gonna drive that left leg in, pull that right leg through into that amazing bear crawl position, and then return. I'm just gonna tap my bum down. I'm gonna pull it through, stabilizing on that right shoulder and left leg. This is amazing, amazing neuromuscular control. Remember that word, people, neuromuscular control. It's not just about picking up heavy weights. It's about being able to control that body and put it in positions you want to while stabilizing those joints. So again, if you're getting a little tired, feel free, push pause. We're not all at the same level, but we all can perform these exercises. Work yourself up. You only do 20 seconds this time. Next time you do this exercise, this program, do 30 and 40 and 50 until you're able to keep up to us teaching you. Round of those last 10 seconds. So again, as you get used to this position, this movement pattern, as I said, neuromuscular movement pattern, speed it up. Last one, give me one more. Whoo! That's amazing. All right, we're gonna do the semi-squat with one arm bent over row. Now we're gonna switch over to the right side this time, okay? We're gonna drop down our nice comfortable position of bent knees, bent hips, nice natural neutral spine, and we're gonna row, row. Again, you have to put that hand there. Great, you will be stabilizing the torso and the trunk a little bit. So you're not getting as quite a workout, but you will feel it on this right side. And maybe you wanna move it up to here. Okay, so you're not bracing on that leg. So there is that fight of rotational pull. And if you get good at it, just release that arm and row. Put that crossbell in your back pocket. I think I have a pool of sweat right here. Like I said, people, we're going right through on these. There's no tricks here. This is only level one. Okay, 10 seconds. You feel you cannot bounce and just put that crossbell in your back pocket. Go, go, go. Five, four, three, two, one. My quads are on fire. Fire, people. Now we're gonna move to the right arm again. I placed mine down. I thought I was gonna towel off, but I couldn't. I didn't have a towel with me. I'm gonna keep it here in the right arm rack position. And we're gonna step back with this right leg. Lower ourselves with the left leg. Kickstand, nice little turn. Pull yourself back up. We're gonna lower ourselves with a single leg squat. Drop that leg down, 
That's like a kickstand. Now let's talk about this rack again. We don't want it externally right, pulling our arm out. We're gonna keep this right close to the body, to the midline. Women, don't press against your breast. Don't want the wrist pulled out. Andrea, I see your wrist. There we go. Okay, let's get that right back in there. Down to the last five seconds. Five seconds, people. Three, two, one. Come on, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes. We made it all through 10 exercises. But guess what? We only got a 30 second break. We have to do it all over again. We're just finishing up our 30 seconds. 30 seconds is not a long time. I am still haven't caught my breath. So let's get ready for a squat with press out. I'm gonna do the upside, Andrew's gonna do the bottom. Okay, so let's go. Squat, up, press out. Squat, press out. Again, in that standing plank position. Full body, definitely core activation. Let me turn to the side here. We can also see it from the side. Squat, press out. Squat, press out. Amazing exercise. Let me come back to you guys. Well, we're only about a little over halfway through this interval. Second time through. Plenty of exercises to go. Getting that triple. Flexion, extension of that squat. Press out in that standing plank position. Last 10 seconds of this interval. So again, if we can pick up the pace, let's pick it up. Leave it out there. Two, one, go. Let's get into our plank with shoulder tap. All right, let's get our hands down, feet down. Let's get our hand, feet around the same distance as our hands. We're driving into the floor, keeping our glutes tight. We're gonna tap, tap. We wanna avoid any excessive rotation to help stabilize, because you know what? You're just cheating yourself. Okay, stabilize, stabilize. And again, so if you can pick up the pace, pick up that pace. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, not moving. And she's keeping it to me. This isn't fair, people. This is not fair. All right, 30 seconds. I'm gonna move my feet a little closer. Okay, I have to compete with her today. You, compete with yourself, compete with us, no worries. Just try to get through it, all right? We have approximately uh, 10 seconds left, all right? And again, don't feel, don't feel you have to make it through the whole time. If you have to push pause, push pause. And again, increase the amount of time that you get through that interval. Two, one, Whew. all right, let's pick up our cross belt again. It's a double swing. We've got both hands on the cross belt. We've got our feet nice comfortably apart just outside the shoulders. We're gonna drop down through our legs and swing. Just use your arms, think of your arms as a piece of rope. That energy is coming through the glutes, which is your bum, and that knee bend. All right, it's quads gonna be firing, hamstrings firing. And throw this cross bell horizontally and come over to the side. And down, horizontal. Throw it. I'm gonna throw it towards Andrea. I'm not trying to bring it up. I'm just gonna try to throw it out, out, out. I'm gonna snap, snap. In that standing plank position again. Okay, I'm gonna come back to the side. All right, we're down to the last 10 seconds of this interval. Let's keep it going. If you can pick it up, pick up the pace. But snap, snap, snap. Whew, all right. Whew. 
again, there's only a few, few seconds here to get a break. We're gonna pick up our crossbow again though. I just need to put that down just for a second. All right, let's go. The upside. I'm gonna put mine upside. You can keep yours down. We're gonna go up. We're gonna go to the right, side, side. Up, side, side. Up, side, side. I love this exercise. Not only for the shoulders, and you can feel those shoulders on fire when you press this out and maintain that standing plank position. But again, it is a full body exercise. You're in like a rotational standing plank. Okay, so we have approximately about, I'd say 20 seconds left. Man, that 30 second break between the first 10 exercises. You think it might be long, but it's not. So one more, side, side, good. Now we're gonna put our crossbells down, not too far. All right, so we're gonna get into our sit out, put our left arm down, our left leg is fully extended with our right leg driving into the ground. We're gonna press up, elevate, tuck that in, get into our bear crawl, and do the same side again, flip around. Pull it in, bear crawl, tap it down. So this is the second time through all these exercises. So you may be tired, you wanna find your own nice little pace to go, but I talked about the first time, neuromuscular control. That's your brain, your central nervous system, controlling how your body moves in 3D space. So now, I'm imprinting this body position, this movement pattern into it. Now I can get a little bit faster. Whew. 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 Okay, we got about 10 seconds left. Oh, well, now this is really burning now that we picked up this pace here. Again, this is level one and it's hurting. Two, one. Oh, I broke down. All right, I only got 10 seconds. Let's go to the same side. All right, so we have our crossbow to the left side. We're in our semi squat position. Stabilizing, and we're just gonna row. We're gonna bring that crossbell into that left back pocket. Okay, now I'm gonna turn to the side here, so, so you can see what I'm doing here. In that nice, comfortable position. I'm gonna row it. I'm not pulling it up here. I'm pulling it back, and I'm putting it into my pocket, okay? And again, if you start, you're getting tired, your quads, your legs are starting to burn here, and you have to put your hand here, go right ahead. No shame in that. Just try next time. Maybe do a little bit more next time. And again, raise it up here. Make it just a little bit harder. We have about 20 seconds left. I'm gonna take my hand down. Now I'm just gonna rock it. Yeah, and this is the second time through. I'm gonna pick up that pace. I'm gonna try to avoid any kind of unnecessary bobbing. Right? I'm gonna stabilize that body. Pull, pull. And that hydrodynamic nature of that water sloshing around this crossbell has another dimension of instability. Whew. Don't put the crossbell down, because now we're gonna put in that rack position. We're gonna pull it up. Whew. I'm gonna put it in our midline right here. I'm not gonna let that wrist bend. I'm gonna keep it nice and straight. All right, so we're gonna do reverse lunge. Step back, then come up. If you have to put it down, go right ahead. Step back, go down. Step back, put it down. Now, I'm not gonna put my foot back down. Again, I'm gonna keep it up, keep it elevated. Oh, I see Andrea, she's got her hand on her side there. I think she's feeling it this time. <laughs> but what I love about what Andrea's doing here, and I'll demonstrate it on the side here, is that she's not drifting back. She's lowering herself in a single leg squat and using this foot as a kickstand and pulling herself up. I love it, I love it. Okay, down to the last 15 seconds. Again, you might, as you start getting tired, you might want to start pulling you up. Get it right here, tighten that midline. You women, don't press it against your chest. One more, give me one more, one more. All right, we're gonna now put this down and go back into our same side sit out. We're gonna go back down with our right hand this time. Our right leg is extended. We're gonna drive the left leg into the ground along with the right arm. And we're gonna pull 
this through into that bear crawl position. So again, what you can do is you can put the whole foot down or pick up it, pick it up a bit. Just tap that bum cheek down the ground. Keep that foot elevated. And again, I haven't touched on this yet, but pull those toes towards the shin. Elongate, especially for you women out there. Elongate those calf muscles from being in those high heels all the time. This is your high heel. You don't want to have a foot like this all the time. Strengthen those muscles in the front of that calf. Last 20 seconds, okay? I'm gonna pick up the pace right now. You gotta keep up. All right. Oh. This is left leg and right shoulder are burning. Burning, tell you. All right, one more. Did I hear a stump? Did I hear a stump? I got it that time. I got it. All right, let's grab our crossbells again. We're gonna move it into our right side this time. We're gonna get into that semi squat. Again, this left side, this leg, oh, it's dying on me. We're gonna pull that crossbell into that back pocket. All right, we're not bicep curling it up. We're not pulling it up here. All right, we're pulling it back using those shoulder blades. Squeeze those shoulder blades together and pull that crossbell to the back pocket. Yeah, I see Andrew, she's getting tired now. She's starting to do this bobble thing here. Hot. All right, stable. See, there's no shame putting that, if you had to put that hand down there. Level one, people, it's only level one. All right, let's go. We have about 20 seconds left. Come on, those quads, they gotta be burning right about now. Burn, burn, burn. You should call it burn. Body burn? Now body blast. This is a blast. Okay, two, one. Do not, I repeat, do not put your crossbow down unless you need to get a drink or wipe off that sweat. We're gonna put it into our rack position again. Pressing this elbow, if you can, right against that hip bone. Women, don't press it up against your chest. Leave it outside. And we're gonna step back with this right leg. Lower yourself with the left leg. Kickstand, nice little turn. Pull yourself back up. We're gonna lower yourself with a single leg squat. Drop that leg down. That's like a kickstand. Now, let's talk about this rack again. We don't want it externally pulling our arm out. Oh, I love this. Let's take a look at Andrew right here. And I see your hands coming a little bit off. Keep it right against there. Don't let that wrist break. Amazing job. She's doing a great job, people. Oh, wow. It's hot. hot. We got about 15 seconds left. I'll join you now. I think I had a nice little break there. I have to say, this is, this is only level one, people. But no shame, no shame at all. You work yourself up to doing the complete 10, time, 10 exercises twice through, all right? Oh, she got an extra one on me there. Break. Oh, wow. All right. That's it. That is 20 exercises through, two times 10. 10 intervals at one time a piece with only 10 second break. We did it. Amazing job, Andrea. Awesome. Thank you. We'll see you again. I want to thank you for joining us for our cool down section. This is probably one of the more important sections, so I hope you continue to do it after your workout every single time. What we want to do is we want to bring our body back to its center point. We want to have to have a dynamic workout. We want to get our ready and prepare our body for the next workout for the day ahead. So we want to come out, we're going to take our breath. We're going to breathe up, in through our nose and out through our mouth. Breathe in. Again, we're just controlling our breathing. Bring it down. Give me one more time. Now we're gonna bring it down onto our knees and onto our mat. We're gonna take our hands and clasp them behind our back, pushing down. We wanna elongate our neck up to the sky. Feel a stretch in your neck. Push down with our shoulders. Elongate, elongate. 
We always want to lengthen these muscles now that we've had a workout where you actually work them very hard and tighten them and got them short and we're going to lengthen them. And good. We're going to bring our right arm across. Again, we don't want to have our shoulder up by ear. We want to push it down. We're going to pull across our body. Feel the stretch in behind our shoulder. Feel that lengthening behind our shoulder, in through our back. Good, we're gonna bring it to the other side. Just like all exercises, we're always gonna do one side and then the other. Again, keep the shoulder pressed down. Elongate or lengthen the muscles of the rear part of the shoulder. So we spend a lot of time in all of our workouts working those muscles. And when they work, they tend to shorten on us. And good. What we wanna do now is bring it down to child's pose. We're gonna rock back, bring our bum to our heels. And at this point, as we breathe, we wanna lengthen our lats, which is our back muscles. You'll feel a nice stretch in that back. Again, continually to breathe. And good. I'm gonna rock back up now to what we call pigeon. I'm gonna lengthen my right leg. I'm gonna internally bring my foot or swing it inward, and I'm gonna just rock back. Again, placing weight on the hip, but I'm keeping my forearms down as to not put too much weight on my hip. Feel a nice stretch in behind there. Okay, I'm gonna come back up. I'm gonna switch sides. I'm gonna swing the leg around as I rock back in that position. Good. If you don't have the mobility that I do, if this is, works good for you as well, by all means, keep your hands straight. And if you can get down a little bit further, go right ahead. And good. And come and swing back around to what we call half kneel. I'm gonna push my hips through. Good, I'm gonna reach my left arm up, and I'm gonna bring it over, but I'm gonna brace on my knee here, because I wanna stretch, I wanna lengthen. I'm not activating like what we do in our warm-ups. Okay, I want to lengthen all the muscles now. I want to switch sides. Again, keep this hand here to brace. Swing up and just bend over a little bit. Again, you're going to feel the stretch in through the hip flexors, which is this place right down here because we all have a tendency to have tight hip flexors. Feel my rib cage expand and open up. I want to thank you for joining us for the cool down portion of the workout. Again, this is one of the more important parts of your workout, so please, if you can, make the time to do the cool down because it will help prepare your body for tomorrow's workout. Thank you, I'm Jason McPherson, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow.